so we're living in this world where we're always on, always connected, everything's always available, always rapidly changing, always updating. And so really within this world, technology is vying for our attention. I'm William Odom. I'm a Banting Fellow here at SEAT. Um, and so the nature of the grant that I'm working on in my fellowship actually is on developing a theory and practice of slow interaction design. And so this idea of slow technology comes um, really out more historically from um, when technology design really focused on the office where increasing efficiency around how people completed tasks was kind of the utmost importance. My name is Garnet Hertz, and I work at Emily Carr in Vancouver, and I have a position as Canada Research Chair of Design and Media Arts, and I also work in industrial design. I think that technology, as it's normally built as a product, tends to kind of be built for optimizing for speed, to be high resolution, to be um, efficient, easy to use. Uh, and that's all fantastic, but it comes at a cost in that if all the devices that we're using are fast and responsive, that it kind of creates a situation where people start to feel overloaded with information. Um, hi, my name is Henry. Um, I am doing my master in Simon Fraser University, and currently I'm working on a project called The Slow Game with um, Will and also Garnett and a few other people. So, the idea of of creating a slow game is that we want to create something that it's much more playful and tangible. Um, so we took an idea of this, a snake game, and then we just slow it down the interaction. The idea with creating the slow game is really building off some earlier work of um, designer Aishak Bertrand and um, some of the early work that I've done on slow interaction. We're using the, the snake game as a way of kind of referencing um, something that was important within technology popular culture. So within the mid 90s, the snake game was very popular on Nokia handsets and was very pervasive. So this is kind of very familiar, fast paced, um, very simple game that has a really common kind of technology association with it. Um, and so we're creating a physically embodied wooden cube that the snake game kind of unfolds through. Um, and so the idea here is that there's constraints placed on the, the game where you can only make one move a day. So the process of taking that prototype into a product involved um, doing a lot of 3D modeling, that enclosure, plus I've been working with um, wood versions that are machined out of a solid block of uh, wood and trying to, to use uh, lumber that we've got ourselves. We believe that uh, we want to explore a different method of disseminating these research artifact. We just want to give the cube to the participant and just ask them to play around with it. Within interaction design research, typically we create a small set or a small batch of highly refined design artifacts. We may then put them in people's homes, conduct an academic study, then maybe take them away, write a paper, and then it just kind of comes to a conclusion. 
And so with the Slow Game Project, we really want to push that way further and look at alternative modes of disseminating these kind of critical interaction design artifacts on a much broader level.